had Bernanke in, I believe it was October of 2010, launch QE2. Um, I bought a thousand ounce block of silver in response to that. So again, it just in the sense that it made, it was logical to me that part of the run up was in response to a lot of money printing. We hit $49 in April and then the price crashed down and been in a bear market ever since then. Any thoughts on anything you'd like to comment on about the price, uh, especially in 2011 or what's happened since? Well, you know, a lot of these, uh, I mean, I, when, when precious metals essentially, you know, are their safe haven. So when you see things like you saw, well, why you bought, makes all the sense in the world. Um, and, uh, but, you know, ideally, these things uh, are supposed to operate under market fundamentals, and those involve supply, demand. And they involve uh, the number of traders out there and who's willing to risk and how long they're willing to risk it. So, um, you know, I'm away from it now. I mean, I, I, we cover on our on our television program, we, we look at precious metals all the time. But uh, I'm certainly not in a position now to see anything in markets that uh, if something untoward was going on, I, I, I wouldn't necessarily – I wouldn't know about it. I certainly wouldn't know the details about it. Um, but I can tell you, uh, things were uh, suspect, and the uh, investigation that we did uncovered a lot of evidence that would lead to a um, manipulation case or an attempted manipulation case. But the standard of evidence, the cumulative standard of evidence, was a very high bar. And so while we did have evidence, uh, direct evidence, uh, you know, voicemail evidence, text evidence, uh, trading evidence, um, at some point we had price movement evidence. But we never had all of the things that you needed together in one place uh, that were enough for us to go after. Uh, there, were just, there were just holes, uh, and it was frustrating. Uh, and and we, we looked at it a bunch of different ways, and um, uh, at one point, we even thought we had enough to go forward with the case, and we asked for some uh, forensic economists outside of the CFTC to examine it, and they came back and they said, no, we don't think so. And that was after about four years, by the way. I've never talked about this. That was after about four years. And I said, oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. We thought we had enough evidence, and we hire somebody outside, and they say, we don't have enough evidence. Let's go to somebody else. So people don't know this part, but I essentially I extended the investigation yet another year because mm -hmm. I didn't believe it. Uh, and so we went to yet another forensic economist and had them look at it, and they came back with the opinion of the first folks that uh, we, uh, we, we just didn't – we didn't have – we didn't have the traders, and, and we didn't have the market participants dead to rights. Um, but we had lots of stuff, and we had real stuff that would have played uh, really well in court. Uh, not just numbers, but the, the the rhetoric, the banter between traders that we had. And I'm not saying there was lots of it, but there was enough of it that um, it was damning. Um, but the damning part had to be backed up by other uh, requirements of evidence under the law, and we didn't get all of that. We didn't get to that. Uh, it, it, it troubled me so much, by the way, um, that uh, I did seek and, uh, a change in the law, and uh, we ultimately got it. And we have a uh, – there's a newer, lower standard for manipulation that's been in place since that time. It was not, in, it, it was not retroactive. Uh, a lower standard of manipulation for the CFTC, uh, which is similar to uh, the SEC's standard for manipulation uh, or one of their standards, their, their – uh, I think it's their 10B5 standard, which is based upon recklessness. So 
instead of having these four different hurdles that I was describing earlier that were pretty high for us to get over, uh, the new standard that I fought for, and Maria Cantwell was the champion in the Senate and in Congress on this, by the way, uh, although there were others, Bernie Sanders, et cetera, but Maria Cantwell was the real champion, that uh, now there's a lower manipulation standard, uh, one that uh, would be easier to, to prove. Uh, you know, would the same evidence back then uh, result in uh, a charge and a potential conviction on manipulation? I think so. I think so. 